Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, so before I get into the blah blah portion of this video, I have to promote my new music video. It's called Magician's Curse. I'll have it in the description. I'll show you a little bit right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm super hyped. I'm super hyped. Okay, that's all you get. Go watch the rest. <laughs> um, but okay, now let's get into the blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's not gonna be a super blah, blah, blah. And I apologize, I, 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 I don't like need, need this right now. Um, I just, I can't help but walk around <laughs> when I make these videos. And so when I'm standing, it, it makes it more comfortable. I, I fuck my shoulder up at work and it's so dumb. Literally ran into a door, basically. I'm such an idiot, I'm the biggest idiot ever. But um, enough of that because I don't care about my shoulder right now. Um, okay, I don't know exactly what all I'll talk about right now. I do want to show my new tattoo off because I haven't gotten to show it on this channel, or I haven't gotten, to, I've, I haven't, I have not put it onto video form on the interweb. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. But uh, yeah, I guess let's let's do it. I did just get some things, so I got the most of it done like over like about a month ago, and then I got a few things added to it like a week and a half ago or so, but. So here, let's do this. Let's do it as best as we can. So it starts with this pencil that turns into a microphone. And the the pencil is drawing this heartbeat, which, so all these music notes, that's what I got added that are like surrounding it. But so the heartbeat goes around and then it turns into a drum set. And then it keeps going, it keeps going and turns into a guitar and then it circles back up and the way it tapers off it's cool if i wanted i could turn it into a full leg piece and like keep going with the heartbeat and keep adding things that like have brought life to me i mean because that's the whole thing with this like even it, like because so i've been playing guitar since like february now and I spent basically from February through the summer getting a very good foundation. Like I, I have a good core somewhat. That's what's weird. Like I like can, I feel comfortable holding a guitar and I can like read sheet music and somewhat play and stuff. But like, I don't really know my way around the fretboard and I'm still trying to get a better understanding of music theory and just like learning chords and just, I'm just trying to get better with hearing it all because it's like a language in itself and it's weird. It's a lot of math and that's really interesting to me. But so it's just trying to learn it so that I can like put it to use. Right. But so anyways, like, I don't know. I, I love my tattoo and like the whole thing with music and everything for me, like, I don't know, like some people close to me, like in my family, at least have like made comments about like this just being my life now and I mean it, it this is definitely a huge part of my life now music is and like I, I don't know see but that's the whole thing with it for me is like my end goal isn't to make it my life like I I'd be happy with it being how it is right now like just making music that I get to enjoy for myself and just sharing it with people I know um because I think that's that's cool enough. I think it's cool enough that like we live in a day where literally I have this <laughs> let me I'll just show you cuz I got this new piece this uh the cage thing. So like I literally have this whole home setup and that's like I can just do this all at home and not have to like be stressful and make it this whole thing and I don't know, if something comes of it, that would be really cool. I mean, I do think I want to get to a point where I perform live and, like, do small gigs like that. But again, it's like, I'm not going to be, like, trying to, like, push myself every single... I don't know. That's what's weird about it. I have... I'm very driven to get better, but I'm not driven with an end goal of, like, becoming famous from this because I just like making music. I just... I have a lot of fun. It's... Literally, music has gotten me through such a hard part of my life, and, like, it, it's just, it, there was a night recently, sorry, this is about to be an overshare, but 
things have been kind of rough recently and there was a night re lately where I was like sobbing in my bed and I was able to calm myself down because I turned on music and it, a thought that popped into my head was even when I feel completely alone, like no one will listen or anything, music always will listen or will always be there. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, so that's what is there. <laughs> I don't know. I got all weird and then my my uh, instinct is to just laugh. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really happy with what Blaine and I did with this music video. Um, and just from the start, like, we literally started with nothing, just literally nothing. <laughs> he, well, we found samples online for the guitars, and then he put it all together. <laughs> and then I listened to that and came up with lyrics and then performed them. And originally, the way I had it mixed was really weird, and the way I did my, uh, like, lyrics was not formatted right. So it's it's a process, but him and I worked together, and we got to a point where we were really, really happy with the song we made. So then we said, fuck it, I'm gonna find a weekend where I can come up, and we're gonna make this video happen, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> and it was so much fun, That's that's... I don't know. It's just it was a good experience, and I really hope to do more. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess I don't really know where I'm going with all this. Just try and find what gives you a sense of purpose or meaning. Like music has given me a huge sense of identity. It's made me feel a lot more comfortable in my skin. I'm like finding who I am through music I think and my whole life I've always been weird embracing like stuff I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say and just I'm I'm noticing that like I'm caring less when I do weird stuff and people judge it because when I do weird stuff and people do laugh that's like or like when I, I it's, this is so weird so like Basically, you can overthink everything and never be weird and then never know, or you can stop caring and be weird all the time and then get the 50-50 response. But I promise it's worth getting the 50% that's good, even if you get 50% that's weird. But I will also say it's not 50-50. I feel like I generally get positive response more than bad because even if people don't think the weirdness is... Um, a vibe <laughs> that they're, they're not like people aren't going to go out of their way to make you feel weirder because everyone's weird <laughs> okay this has gotten out of hand i start to walk in circles around my room and then this thing does not shut <laughs> i go blah, 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 blah. Uh, i'm in a good mood right now probably because i have caffeine in me see blaine knows this not all you know this I, I don't drink caffeine, like, very, very often. I mean, there's times where it's... I mean, I'm sure most a lot of people are like me. Like, there's times where it spikes up, spikes down, whatever. But, like, generally, the last, like, year, I don't drink it too often. But so when I do it, <laughs> it generally makes me all jumpy like this. <laughs> and it, I don't know. I mean, that makes sense. That's what caffeine does, Ryan. Use your noggin. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks to just anyone who supports me. It really always means a lot. Because, I don't know, we all battle with issues of feeling like we matter. And I'm finding a place where I have my own self-worth. But everyone's got to be a little narcissistic and feel special when someone else points it out, too. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, cut. Hope everyone has a blessed day.